Yeah, I, again, it's just a tool. I, I don't see this as, uh, and, and for me, safety is an issue, uh, first and foremost. And it is uh, the accidents and the deaths that occur as a result of running red lights, but it's also the accidents and deaths that occur from here, from just speeding. We have concerns that red light cameras will become an ATM machine for City Hall. A ticket isn't justified in every case. A police officer can use his or her discretion right then and there. With 19 different studies showing that not only are these things redundant and not necessary, but some studies that are actually showing that they make intersections less safe. That's right, less safe. Using safer, longer yellow intervals will almost always reduce violation rates by far more than the cameras. Cameras typically take a year to drop violation rates by half. Adding a second to the yellow so we'll achieve a 60 to 90 percent drop in a few days. What about just increasing the, the yellow light? Uh, from that standpoint, I'm certainly open to that too. Uh, you know, this is, again, this is a tool and we'd certainly be glad to incorporate it, or even if it's a standalone bill uh, representative. Certainly, I mean, from my perspective, it, it truly is, uh, there, there's some personal history there. Uh, but yeah, certainly willing to do that, and I'm sure Representative, you would be too. Yeah, I, again, it's just a tool. Moving violation today issued by a police officer, the way that the dollars are collected and then distributed are going to be different once the red camera lights are put in and that ticket is issued or fine is issued through the red traffic light. Have we heard from the groups that are going to be challenging us because they'll be receiving less money? I, I have not. Well, they're not receiving less money. Well, they won't, they won't have an opportunity to receive more money. It is, I mean, there is a bump in revenue, but then as driver behavior changes, like anything, if you were to post an officer in a school zone, because people are speeding there, that, that revenue goes down. Or the Police officers want to be revenue agents who would have signed up to be IRS or treasury agents. It would be easy to design a red light camera system that ticketed only unsafe drivers. Yellow intervals mandated to be long enough and prohibited ticketing on right of red turns. The cameras would then issue so few citations they wouldn't even come close to paying their own costs. Nobody would use them. Yes, my name is Ron Ray. I'm with the NCSR, which is the National Coalition for Safer Roads. Uh, NCSR is a trade-based association representing a coalition of safety advocates, cities, police departments that use red light and speed safety cameras. They're from uh, people in the very, very uh, actually the same groups. Uh, in the end, my colleagues decided that the public safety overruled with some of the arguments for people such as the National Motors Association, ACLU, or Campaign for Liberty type groups, uh, and agreed that the red light cameras do save lives. Thank you very, Thank you very much. much. I think we're going to continue uh, talking about this. I know, as I said, Representative Jacobson's point and a few others on the yellow light certainly want to discuss this. Uh, so I think we're going to we're all going to huddle around this and, and talk a little bit more. So thank you, everyone, for coming in. Mm-hmm. <laughs>